Hi, this is Rena Jadav of the Startup Den here at Cafe du Nord at the Vader Splash event, and we have Rory of Scale Ventures. Hi, Rory. Hey, how you doing? Doing very well. You gonna have fun tonight? I don't know. I'm just just gotta get to my intro. Scoping out all the different startups to fund. So, tell us about the three unbreakable rules that you tell the startups that you invest in. Sure. And when we invest in companies, we're looking for companies that are early in revenue and just starting to scale, so hence our name. So we think the three most important things are first, it's the Steve Blank comment, nail it before you scale it. If you aren't ready yet to scale, don't take money from someone who wants to grow fast. Don't try and invest and figure it out on the fly. You need to have a couple of key points locked in before you ever start to ramp. You need to have product market fit. You need to know who your customers are. You need to know why they buy from you. And you need to know just roughly how cost effective selling to them is and how you do it. So that's the first rule. Don't scale it until you've nailed it. Second rule is, when you're scaling it, you're driving fast. That's the whole point of scaling. And when you drive fast, it's just like driving a car fast. You gotta be more careful. You gotta have really clear rules on what success is like. It's very too easy to overexpand really quickly, think you're being effective, and discover one day that you were really effective with five sales reps, and now that you have 25, you're not nearly as effective, and you've got a huge car space that you've gotta disentangle. So you've, it's like watching the speedometer on the car. It really doesn't matter if you're going 33 or 35. But if you're going 120, you gotta watch the speedometer and you gotta watch the road or you'll screw it up. So that's the second rule. Know how to drive when you're driving fast. I like that one. And then the third rule is, it's a simple rule, don't run out of money. Growth eats money. People think that the faster you grow, sometimes you'll kick off cash. That's wrong. In any SaaS company, in any hardware company, in pretty much every company today except some of the really great internet companies, they eat capital. And even internet companies have large capex needs to keep up with user requirements. So you should assume a high growth company will eat capital and in fact more cash than a slower growth deal. So you just got to stay on top of the fundraising. You do not want to be caught short. It's better to take a slightly lower price, raise money a little bit earlier and always have a degree of freedom. You don't want to be the guy that's growing really fast and suddenly realizes he's got six months to raise capital or he's out of cash and has to cut his burn just when he should be growing the fastest. So I think those are the three key rules. Nail it before you scale it, know how to scale it fast and what the metrics are, and don't run out of cash. Pretty simple, really. That's actually really good advice. Now, I'm gonna push you on one of your points. You yeah. mentioned know that capital is gonna be eaten up. Yeah. So chomp, chomp, chomp. Yeah. Uh, one of the things that I know entrepreneurs struggle with is creating that forecast metric, right? So I know, I know where I'm now. I know what my yeah. numbers look like. How do I know how much cash I'm gonna need when I'm at 10X or 100X? How do you help entrepreneurs figure that out? Sure. In fact, it, look, it is hard to predict revenue and, you know, it's the old joke, predicting is hard, especially about the future. But the reality is, first of all, you can, when you've seen a lot of models and you've seen a lot of companies, have a better sense of what capital it takes to do things. But the real point, so I, could, I can probably give a fairly good sense of what a company will take, but that's actually not the key insight for an entrepreneur. The key insight is this. Don't try and solve the big complex question of how much money will you need over the next five to seven years. Figure out the more important question, which is, how much money do you need over the next 12 to 24 months, and will that be enough money and enough time to demonstrate enough success to raise your next round at a higher price? As long as you keep jumping from rope to rope and never fall off into the forest, you're fine. So don't try and answer the grand theory of everything. I don't think the guys, when they started off AOL, knew it was going to be $2 billion, but they knew that they, if they could grow for the next 12 to 18 months, they could raise money at an up round and keep on moving. So that's what you got to do. Focus on the near-in execution, focus on raising money, and then deliver enough value so that the next guy who comes in will pay a higher price and everyone will feel smart and it'll all be fine. Great advice, Rory. Thank you so much. Go have a great time tonight.